Hello, this is video number five. Um, this is how you set the background to change the background inside your viewport. So when you're in the model tab, which is at the top left, you can see a little model in orange, um, we can change views, which is control space, and we can go to perspective mode. And you'll see the perspective view is like got a gradient background. If we hop over to the model quad tab, you'll see that the perspective view in the top right hand corner has this gradient background and I've changed my viewport below that to also be perspective but that doesn't have a um, a gradient background so how, how do we get this gradient background to be turned on or off uh, the other thing we're going to uh, just quickly reference here um, we've already done how to uh, move around your viewport using uh, FDS, FD Studio Max key mapping um, you also have dedicated icons in the top right hand corner for uh, if you click and hold them with your left mouse button you can pan the viewport you can rotate the viewport and you can zoom in and zoom out of your view and currently you'll see also as I zoom in and zoom out my um, top and my front views in the other two viewports are linked to it so we can link and unlink that so when I'm zooming in here uh, is zooming in in the perspective view, I can either say please also follow that zoom or don't follow that zoom. Um, but for the moment, let's go and sort this out so we can have instead of this sort of typical uh, view, we get this viewport down here basically. So um, press the, I've got my mouse over this viewport, press O for options, and it says under here, I've got GL background, currently we're going to set it to gradient, and that is that. Okay. Um, and then also if we go over options again we should have uh, independent scale independent center independent rotate I'm going to click all three of those for viewport independence and we're all good to go so now when I rotate around it nothing happens but if I pal around it nothing also happens you can see that so the the front and top view don't move and I zoom in and zoom out that also doesn't move if you want to go and put that back to where it was over options untick those and we're all cool. When I zoom in and zoom out, they are now linked together. So you may find that good or bad, but it's dead easy to set up and dead easy to turn on and off. Uh, yeah, there you go. So quick one there. And obviously, let's let's. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to mimic this so that clunk. I'm in a similar view when I'm looking inside Mac. So my viewport down here is perspective. So I want it to be similar looking. So let's hop over to Modo again. So let's go and set that. Let's go jump, jump back to Max. So that wants to be front view, left and top. So go here. So that's top. That wants to be left. And that wants to be front. Uh, brain, front. There we go. So that's all the same now. Yeah? And that's all cool and groovy. And let's untick these two things. So again, over in here. Over options. Make them independent. And we're all groovy train there you go and that <coughs> is that so yeah I'm gonna be referencing Studio Max and uh, Modo because I'll come from using uh, 3ds Max so I'm gonna flip flop between Max and Modo in the next few videos so if you really do hate Max um, with abandon then maybe you wanna go and skip these videos but um, maybe not we'll see see how it sort of uh, see the different types of workflows and how we can make it as similar as possible for, to me as painless as possible doing uh moving from one app to another right with that we'll hit stop and uh see you in a bit cheers <laughs>